Education Galaxy presents Generating Equivalent Expressions. First, let's review some mathematical properties. We have the inverse property. The inverse property of addition says that any number added to its opposite will equal zero. And the inverse property of multiplication says that any number multiplied by its reciprocal is equal to one. The inverse property. Let's look at some examples of the inverse property. Inverse is another name for opposite. For example, 3 and negative 3 are opposites, so 3 plus negative 3 equals 0. That's because if I have 3, I can take the opposite of 3, negative 3, and when I combine, they make 0 pairs and all cancel out. I end up with 0. So negative 4 plus 4 equals 0, 1 fourth plus negative 1 fourth equals 0, and x plus negative x equals 0. The inverse property also applies to multiplication. Consider the fraction a over b. If we multiply by the opposite, the reciprocal, which is b over a, we get ab over ab. And we know that anything over itself is equal to 1. So some examples include 3 times 1 third equals 1, 1 fifth times 5 equals 1, and x times 1 over x equals 1. <laughs> Next we have the identity property. The identity property of addition says that any number added to zero will equal itself. And the identity property of multiplication says that any number multiplied by one will equal itself. Identity property. Let's look at some examples of the identity property. Think about what an identity is. It's who you are. It's what you see when you look in the mirror. Like this kitty here. She just wants to see herself. So do the numbers. Think about addition. What should a number add to itself to get itself as an answer? Zero, of course. So some examples are 5 plus 0 equals 5, 3.5 plus 0 equals 3.5, 2 thirds plus 0 equal 2 thirds, and m plus 0 equals m. Now, think about multiplication, and think about if the kitty is a number and wants to multiply by something to get an answer of itself, what can you multiply a number by in order to get the same number back? 1. So examples include 3 times 1 equals 3, 1.2 times 1 equals 1.2, 1 eighth times 1 equals 1 eighth, and p times 1 equals p. We also have the commutative property. The commutative property of addition and multiplication says that if you're adding or multiplying, the order in which you add or multiply the numbers can be changed without making any difference to its answer. Let's look at some examples of the commutative property. Let's look at 6 plus 3. If I start with 6 and then add 3, I get 9. If we switch the order to 3 plus 6, we start with 3 and then add 6, we still get 9. Some other examples could be 8 plus 4 equals 4 plus 8, or 7 plus n equals n plus 7. Just as addition is commutative, so is multiplication. Consider 4 times 2. That would be 4 rows of 2, which equals 8 units. That's the same as 2 times 4, which would be 2 rows of 4, and that also equals 8. Some other examples include 3 times 9 equals 9 times 3, and 8 times p equals p times 8. <laughs>